Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here the revised guide to the GRE, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is similar to the problem that we solved yesterday, similar to problem number 10 that we solved yesterday. This is a bonus question. This, is not, this problem is not in the book. It's similar to problem number 10, as I said. Problem number 10 from page number 297. Today is our lesson number 194. This is the problem that I gave you yesterday to work on. Here's the problem. Three people are to be picked. Three people are to be chosen from a group of five people. And we give them name A, B, C, D, E. The question simply is, what are the odds that both A and B will be picked? What are the odds that both A and B will be picked? The very first thing we have to do here, the very first thing we have to do here is to ask ourselves, how many different ways are there of picking, how many different ways are there of picking three people out of five? We have done this many times. This is a permutation. There are five different ways we can pick a first person. Once we have picked the first person out of five, there are four people left and therefore there are four different ways of picking a second person. Once we have chosen the second person, there are only three different three people left and therefore there are three different ways of picking a third person. Five times four is 20, 20 times three is 60. So there are 60 ways of picking three people out of five. There are 60 different ways, 60, different ways, but let's not call it ways, 60 different permutations of picking three people out of five. Now because this permutation order matters, ABC is counted as one permutation and BCA is counted as another permutation and CBA is counted as another permutation. So the three different arrangements, three different permutations, they count as three distinct. This is not a combination problem. And if you're still confused about the concept of combination or permutation, and if you're still having trouble being able to tell from the context whether you're dealing with a permutation problem or a combination problem, go back and watch the fundamentals, the day number 57 and 58, where we solve problem number 7, which you will find on page 157. Watch yesterday's videos, day number day 90, 193, and then watch day before yesterday's video, problem number 9, day 192, and you should have enough, enough to go, go on. But if you're watching this video from scratch, this is not the idea. So now we know there are 60 ways of picking three people. Now the next question we have to ask ourselves is, next question we have to ask ourselves is, out of this 60 possible permutation, how many will have both A and B? That's the question. So that's the next question we have to ask ourselves. Out of the 60, out of the 60, 5 times 4 times 3, out of this 60 permutation how many will have both both A and B and the simplest the simplest and the quickest and the easiest way to tackle that question is to simply enumerate them, make a list of them both A and B, for example you can have A and B and C next to it here, or we can put C first and then put A and B, or we can put C and then we put A here. We can have A and B and then C, or we can put C first and then put A and B, or we can put C in the middle. This is one possibility. This is this is when we when we started out with A. You see, we started out with A, A, B, and then put C at the end. We put then in the second scenario we put C at the in the front and put A and B and then we put C in the middle of A and B. Another possibility is to start with B. To start with B. Or we start with B. We can have B A, same exact thing. A instead of A B, we have B A and then C. Or we can have move the here we moved A B to the end, here we move B A to the end here and put C in the front. Or you can have B and then C in the middle and then A. In other words, there are six ways to put A and B together with C. There are six ways. I need the room, so I'm going to raise some of this here. There are six ways 
of picking there are six ways to put to put A and B with C. Similarly, similarly there are going to be there are going to be six different ways of putting A and B with D. There are six different ways of putting A and B with D. Wherever we see C, we replace C. Wherever we see C, we replace it with D. That's all. There are six different ways of putting A and B together with D. Voila. And finally, there are there are six different ways of putting A and B with E. You just replace everything with E. That's all. Wherever we see D, we replace it with E. This is the easiest and the simplest way to understand it. So now we have E. In other words, there are 18 different ways. In other words, there are 18 different ways of having both A and B in a group of three people. There are 18 different ways of picking both A and B. There are 18 different ways of picking both A and B out of a total of out of a total of 60 permutation which is found here out of the 60 possibility 8 of them will contain A and B or any two that you like as a matter of fact Therefore, the odds of picking both A and B are, therefore, the odds of picking both A and B are 18 out of 60 or 18 over 60. Divide top and bottom by 6 and you end up with 3 tenths or 30% chance, 30% chance. In other words, if you had five people, and if you were to ask, and if you were to ask to pick three people at random out of five, if you were to ask three people at random out of five, the chances are 30%. There's a 30% chance that whichever group that you pick at random will contain both A and B, or for that matter, any two people that you choose. There's a 30% chance of picking a pair, a given pair, if you were to ask to pick three people out of five at random. So, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.